What's up, everyone? Here today for the UD double feature. I have another new device from them, and this one just blows me away. Everything about this brand new tank from UD. Take a look at this thing. This is the Goblin. This little tiny tank from UD. Look at that air hole. Look at that air hole. Do you see that? There's not just one. Oh, there's two. There's two of them. This nice little stainless steel tank. This this tank outperforms most of my drippers. And I'm not saying that at all, trying to steer you or anything like that. This outperforms 80% of the drippers that I own. There's only a couple that have a little bit more airflow than this does. And that would be, you know, like your Mutation X and stuff like that that have those ginormous airflow control but this is rocking these are three millimeter by seven millimeter air holes look how big those are they're huge unobstructed there's nothing in the way of them let me go ahead and take a vape real quick just to show you how this thing works and this is a 0.37 at 50 watts did you see that did you see that that's a 50 watts on a max VG juice, this little guy, this little tank. This little three millimeter or three, bleh, three milliliter tank from UD. But before I talk about it anymore and tell you how much I love this thing, let's dive down up close. I'll take it apart, show you the insides, show you how it all works, and then we'll come right back. All right, so hold tight. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Here is the brand spanking new Goblin from UD Technology. So let's go ahead and unbox this sucker and take a look at it. As always, the same UD packaging. And it says here it is 46 millimeters in height. Perfect match for your pocket. Copper pin contact. It has seven by three millimeter air holes. Two of them on either side, as you can see right there. Glass tank and it is 304 food grade stainless steel and it says leakage proof so let's go ahead and take a look at this here's the goblin look how nice this is this is oh it's one of my favorite tanks this has killed every other tank i have ever used this is a cloud chaser tank look how beautiful this little compact sucker is let's go ahead and well first off like i always do We'll show you the back. You get your little pamphlet here that kind of tells you a little bit about the device, how to build it, and all that good stuff. And then you get your little eh, goodie bag here. There's a little screwdriver, an extra screw, some wire, which looks to be about 26, and again, some silica. So there's that. Put this away. Ah, get out of here talking about the the goblin from UD technologies so let's go ahead and unscrew this thing <laughs> excuse me take it apart all right so here's your nice thick look how thick that is that is a thick piece of glass so you got a thick glass tank section and the top here you have your o-ring the little red o-rings you have your 510 connection that goes right in there then we have looks familiar to some of you yes the little chimney here so you have a little top portion right here, comes right off, comes with a little O-ring right here to seal everything in. And we have our build deck. So let's go ahead and take this other piece of the chimney off and show you this beauty. So take a look at this thing. This is gorgeous. Look at this. So you have the center block with the two holes there. You have Phillip head screws. And oh, do you see, do you see those air holes? Do you see them? Those are three millimeters, each one of them. That's a three millimeter air hole where your coil goes. And then you can see here, we have these extremely large juice channels. Now, some of you might be wondering, aren't those too big? No, not at all. And I'll show you how to build this later on at the end of this video, but you can stuff cotton all the way down these channels and it still wicks perfectly. Perfect for a low ohm build that you're trying to cloud chase because you can cloud chase with the Goblin. 
Yes, it is very possible. Now let's take a look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look, and there's not just one. There's two of them. You have two giant, I mean giant air holes. Now, they are adjustable. See, look, we can close them all the way off if you wanted to, or you can go super tight draw, or you just turn and open it all the way up. That is huge. All right. Now we'll look here at the bottom. You have your little Phillip head screw here. This is where you will put your juice in. The name right there, Goblin, and then serial number. This is 17. And like the Jakiro, I don't know if you watched that already, but the same thing. This can be adjusted, and it's copper, but it doesn't need to be adjusted. It sticks out plenty far. It should work on every single one of your devices. But if you do need to tighten it up a little bit, because it's not sitting on one of your mods, you can do it, but it doesn't need to be loosened up at all for hybrid mode, because you can see it sticks out plenty. All right, let's take a look at that. Let's look at that again, look at that. Phillip head screws, the center block, two three millimeter air holes, big juice wells. This thing's a beast, man. This thing is a beast. So let's go ahead and put this back together, go back into regular mode, We'll talk about it, vape on it. But first, let's go ahead and put this all back together. So you put your first chimney piece on, all the way down nice and tight. Put your second piece on right here. Glass goes in, it's just pressure fit in there. And then it screws in tight just like that. So there she is, the UD Goblin tank, this little mini cloud blowing beast of a tank. Let's go ahead and go back up into regular mode and I'll talk about it some more. All right, and we're back. Now you got to see everything up close. You got to see the build deck. You got to see it all taken apart. See all the insides. What'd you think? It's kind of cool looking, right? Really good design and that airflow, baby. I can't get enough of it. I can't I can't even begin to tell you how much I'm loving this thing right now, but let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit more before I tell you my opinion. This is 46 millimeters in length. It is 22 millimeters in diameter, which is perfect for anyone that's using a mech. And yes, this works spectacular on a mech as well as it does on a regulated. This is at a 0.37. You can build it down that low and it still works great. All right. I'm going off again. Liquid capacity is three milliliters. Could be a little bit more. And I did talk to them. They did say that they're going to probably come out with a five milliliter version tank similar to this in the future, but not sure when that's coming out. This right here, this little guy, this little three milliliters. It's just spectacular. Okay. It only comes in stainless steel. It is 55 grams. That's pretty much all I can get right now since UD site is down at the moment. But let's go ahead and jump right in to what I think about it. <laughs> if you didn't already know, I love this thing. This tank just blows me away. When I first got it and opened it up, I was all excited. I saw those holes and I was just like, oh my God, please tell me that that's just straight up airflow. And when I took it apart, as you saw inside on the build deck, you get three, two three millimeter holes on the build deck so it's not just a, a hole down here trying to pretend like it's big and then being obstructed up here remember the holes that are on the build deck are what really give you your airflow so if it's a tight hole doesn't matter this could be just a big giant open slot you're still only going to pull as much air as that's going to allow this gives you two three millimeter air holes and then you have this down here to just open it all the way up and you just can you hear it? Can I don't know if this microphone picks it up, but this thing just sucks in so much air, produces so much vapor, it wicks so, so well, and I'll show you how to build when you stick around for the end. It's very easy to build. There's just a couple little things that you gotta do because it's a smaller reduced deck like that to, to compensate for what you're doing. But the wicking on this, unlike other ones like the Fogger, which could be really meticulous and you know, oh, oh too much here. You just shove a bunch of cotton in those channels and fill her up and you're good to go. This thing 
kicks some serious ass. And I don't think there's a tank on the market right now or ever that compares to the, just the performance of this little tank right here. I'm gonna take another bait. That, that's just crazy. Like everyone had their craze about the Atlantis. I have an Atlantis. I got this. I stopped using it. I have the Limo. The Limo is the one that's, oh, all the airflow and the rebuildable tank. I have a Limo. I haven't touched it since I got this. And I got this about, what, two weeks ago, roughly. I can't put it down. This comes with me everywhere I go now. This setup right here, the IPv3, the Goblin, I, this is my all-day vape. I, I might use some other things here and there, but I don't even like using a dripper now. I use this. I use this tank. This tank is killing most of my drippers. Now, if you're a full met guy, it's not going to be as grandiose as, say, it is on a regulated device. Pair it with a regulated device, a high wattage regulated device, at least something that goes up to 50 watts. I mean, this is firing right now at 4.3 volts. And I, I just love it. I love it. UD came out with the best tank I've ever used. F the K fun, F the, all of them, the orchid, they don't even touch this thing. Unless you like tight draws and you're not looking for airflow and you're not looking to make clouds, this might not be for you. This is for the cloud chasers, us cloud makers out there that like to blow big clouds. We, we, we're drippers, we like drippers, we like lots of airflow, we take big lung hits, we like to build fairly low. This tank is it. This is it for us. This is the best rebuildable dripping tank when it comes to performance. When you want to blow some clouds and you still want to have flavor, this is the one to go for. This tank just outperforms everything I have. And I, I can't say any more good things about it. But as I'm rambling here and telling you how much I love this thing, let's go into pros and cons because nothing, oh, it got blurry. Nothing's perfect. So let's go ahead and go dive into the cons because I've been doing nothing but pro, 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 blah, 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 blah. See, I'm all excited. I can't even talk right. Cons. The con on this for me, build space is a little tight because you do have the, the center block, the four post design, which is really easy to build. And if you watch the end and you watch the rebuild portion, I'll show you how easy it is to build. I would like a little bit more space, but I think to do that you would end up taking away the capacity of the juice. And on top of that, it sort of just it might take away a little bit of the flavor. Having the reduced chamber is always giving me more flavor. Having the reduced chimney gives me a little bit more flavor, a little bit more of a warm vape for me, which is what I prefer. But it is a little tight. So you do have to use a smaller wraps. You have to use a, a thinner gauge. Like I said, I think 26 is probably the maximum that I want to build on this. You might be able to do 24, but it might be a little too hard because the chimney is going to restrict that and you don't want it to touch the chimney. I would like to see it a little bit more juice. I would like to have a little bit more juice on here because since this does produce a lot of vapor and you can build it lower, you're burning a little bit more juice through this thing. So I'd say when I fill this up and I'm chain vaping on it, I probably can go a about an hour to two hours before I need to refill it. Now, for me, not, not that big of a deal. Most of my commutes are about two hours tops. So if I fill this up on my commute, this takes me where I need to go, then I just fill it up when I get back there. And it's not that hard to, to fill up. You just unscrew that little screw at the bottom, throw in some juice, you're good to go. And you can use your little glass drippers like this. Or if you have a little bottle with a little needle tip on it, it might be good to just throw your juice in here, fill it up with that. Any more cons? Hmm. I don't know. I can't find any other cons than that. That that was my only con on this tank. I would like it to be a little bit bigger, just to give me a little bit more juice. Maybe like a five five mil would be perfect. If this was five mils, I wouldn't have any other cons to make. Other than I guess, you know, the chamber is a little bit smaller. But I don't know. That's not necessarily a con. It's not that hard to build. It's really easy to wick. You don't have to, it's not finicky like other tanks are. So you just shove your cotton in there and vape. Pros. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough time in this video to do pros. Pros, I love this thing. I love the look of it. It's very just, it's a simple design. You have your chimney, you have your glass, huge pro. 
why are these tank guys coming out with plastic tanks? I don't want a plastic tank. I'm not, I don't want to crack my tank while I'm using juice. I don't want to have to worry like if my juice is going to crack my tank or not. Get glass. So I got a glass tank. I got the, the center block four post design in there to build on with, with the post holes. Huge pro. Huge pro. You know how easy that makes it to build? Trying to put things underneath screws and doing all that stuff. Nah, no, 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 no. I got post holes. I got four post holes. I can build my dual coil. No problem. The big juice channels. Another pro. Big juice channels. Just shove your cotton in there. Tighten it all down. You don't have to worry too much about, oh, am I putting too much? Am I putting too little? This thing I've rebuilt a couple times. I haven't had any issues at all with the wicking. I just kind of trim it up just a little bit fill up those channels with cotton it can go all the way down to the bottom it could be a little bit higher than that just make sure you get some cotton in those juice channels tighten everything down juice it up fill it up and you're good to go another huge pro for me airflow do i even need to address the airflow the airflows it it's amazing the airflow is amazing it's two three millimeter air holes like most people that drip, I remember back in the day when we were drilling them out, that's what we were drilling them out to. We were drilling them out to three millimeters. And that was like the massive airflow before all these new RDA started coming out. This has that. So let's see. Take a look at a Zenith. That's a Zenith. And a Zenith had decent airflow. But look at it compared to the Goblin. Look at those air holes. They're huge. It's what? Probably almost two to three times the airflow as a Zenith. You know, if you look at like the Mephesto, that's what the Mephesto, the V2, that's the same airflow. Same airflow, except you get the little tiny dots, but it's the same airflow as a Mephesto, all right? If you have a Mephesto and you know that's a lot of airflow in one of those tanks, or drippers. This is a tank and it has the same airflow. Oh, I'm a vape again. Just when this comes out, people, and I want to say it's going to come out first of the year. This is, again, the 28th of December 2014. I'm hoping that this is in the market by the first of the year. Keep my fingers crossed on it, but I know it's going to release very soon. I don't know the price of it yet since it has not officially been taken up by any of the vendors out there since this just came out. I mean, they just put this up on their website less than a few days ago. I just received it a couple weeks ago, and I really, really, really wanted to talk about it before the first of the year. I wanted you guys to see this thing, see how it works, check it out, get an opinion on it, and see where it's coming. I think this is going to be a big seller. I really do think people are going to buy this. People are going to love it. I have not had a single issue with it at all. And I put these things to the test. I mean, how many tanks can you take down to a 0.3 and then vape it at 50 watts and continuously just, I mean, I just keep going. It wicks well. There's been zero leaking at all. I haven't had any issues with leaking on this at all. Just... It's good, people. It's so good. This tank blows me away. And hopefully you guys get them and you feel the same way. I'm pretty sure anyone that gets this tank is going to be more than happy. Unless, of course, they don't like wide open airflow. Then there's probably not much of a reason for you to be getting this. But let's see. Let's go ahead and take this down super low. All right. So I just took it down to like a K-Fun size air hole. And it still vapes great. So, I mean, I guess if that's what you're into, you can adjust this down to your lowest setting and get a tight draw. Or you can open it wide and have a crazy low build in there and blow fat clouds. So, completely up to you what you want to do. This is fully adjustable to meet your needs. So, there you go, you guys. Uh, when I do find out price and some shops that are carrying it, or if you're a shop that is going to carry it and you want me to, I'll I'll put you down in the description or whoever I find first, I'll throw it down in the description so that way you guys can get out there and buy this. I know there's a couple people trying to do group buys on this right now. I'm not exactly sure if those are happening yet since this all just, just dropped within the last like week. So there it is, you guys. The Goblin. The Goblin. The, just 
the cloud blowing tank. That's what this is. This is a cloud blowing tank. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I need to calm myself down because I'm a little hyper because of my love for this little goblin here. After this, I'm going to go in head. I'm going to go ahead and do the rebuild portion of this. Show you guys how to build it, how to wick it, how to fill it. If you guys want to stick around for that, that's coming up next. If you're not interested in that and you just watch this for the review, this is where we part ways. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you guys, vape on. Let's go into build mode. All right, welcome to up close build tutorial time. We're gonna go ahead and rebuild the goblin tank from UD Technologies. And we'll be using 26 gauge wire that I got from UD as well. So first things first, we need to pull off enough to make a dual coil. All right, so here we go. I have a 5 64th Allen wrench here. And I did find that I needed to drop down from 330 seconds because this is a very, very tight build space. Everything's got to fit inside this little chamber here. So we'll use a 5 ths with some 26 gauge. 24 gauge was just, uh oh, dropping my camera. <laughs> 24 gauge was just a tad too thick and was making contact with the side here. So we'll use 26. We'll go ahead and do a seven wrap. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's squeeze that all together. Back this one off. All right, so there we go. Here is our little coil, which of course we'll clean up later. Go ahead and insert this here. One in the center block, one in the negative. All right, let's go ahead and tighten these down. And you wanna get this as close as humanly possible to the wall here. You wanna get it as close as you can to that positive block. Reason being is like I said before, this is a very, very tight build space. So you do need to have it as close as you can. All right. That looks really good. Just make sure though that it's not touching. It needs to not touch. It just needs to be centered right over that giant three millimeter air hole, just like so. Don't mind the ugly coil. I'll fix that up later, but you can see it's not yet touching, but it's sitting there dead center. That's where you want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the next coil off camera, I'll tighten these coils up, make them look sharp. We'll come back and I'll show you how to wick the new Goblin tank from UD Technologies. All right, as you can see here, we have both of our coils in. They are perfectly centered over the top of those air holes. And we'll do a quick little test fire here. Glowing perfectly. All right, so let's go ahead and set this down and show you how to wick it. All right, and I'm going to be using the cotton that I received from UD as well, it's the Kogendo Japanese cotton. Comes in little individual wrapped packages. We have that right here. So let's go ahead and get our scissors here. I know I'm all UD'd out for this review, right? UD everything, UD wire, UD cotton, UD scissors, and a UD tank, and a UD shirt. UD pride, baby. All right. So let's go ahead and trim us a little bit of wick here. Not too much this time because we did go down to a 564th bit. So you just need a tiny little smidge of cotton. And we'll cut that in half. Okay, so now we gotta kinda give ourselves a nice little tight piece so we can fit it through these little tiny coils here, little micro coils. And you just feed it on through, just like so. Gimme, give gimme give some cotton. Give me that cotton, give it, give it. All right, there's that. Do the second one. All right, so now we're looking at this. Now, this doesn't require that much cotton. 
So what I like to do is I cut at an angle. I don't cut straight down. I don't need much, so we'll cut it right about there. Let's see, that might still be too much. It doesn't take a lot in this little atomizer to get everything going here. Yeah, it's still too much. So we'll cut a little bit off the bottoms here. Now, trim off the excess, because all you need is just enough to fit in those channels. Any more, and it'll be too hard to uh, screw your chimney on. All right, so the next step is use whatever juice you're going to be putting in that tank. We'll go ahead and use this creme de la crema capone. Oh, almost dropped my ball of juice. That would have been bad, and you guys would have all saw it, but I caught it. All right, so we go ahead and juice up our cotton to make it easier to work with and so we don't get dry hits when we first plug this sucker in. All right. So now we got juice on our cotton. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this extra piece of canthal here. And I just kind of jam that cotton in those channels. You don't need to worry about, you know, just as long as you can get that chimney on there, that's all you need. And I found that I could do this, and eh, it's not working so well, use a screwdriver. I can throw a bunch of cotton in these channels and still vape a high PG even with a lower resistance. Like this build here is actually a 0.3, the 0.35, I think it was somewhere around that. So now we got our cotton all up in there nice. Now, to see if everything will screw in here we can take our chimney and ever so gently this is the hardest part is getting this little chimney cap on with the cotton the cotton gets in there we go there we go and it sort of pushes the cotton all the way down those channels and you end up with something like this and then I like to kind of go in there and fidget around with my cotton so that way I'm at least getting enough airflow up to me while I'm vaping it. And you can see if your coils are touching any of the threads. You don't want that to happen because that will cause a short and we don't like shorts. All right, so there's that. Throw our chimney cap on there. Get on there. Put our glass piece on. Put our top back on. And now we need to fill it. All right, so we go ahead and unscrew here. Take the juice that you're gonna use. And you can actually use these little glass drippers and just squeeze it on in. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me fill this whole thing up, but basically that is how you build your coils. That's how you wick your coils. And this is how you fill it. And when you're done, you just slap this screw back in there, tighten it down, plug it in and you're good to go. If you're wondering how this build vapes, you've been watching it this whole entire time. I film this portion before I actually make the review. So there you go, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around for the rebuild portion as well as the review. And as always, vape on.